it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. When you topple over, you topple over. Let's try to tie it all together. are again for another movement practice. Today we will be working on some crab position, some inverted foot hand positioning, some tripod transitions I believe, and we'll have some fun. So like always move within your abilities. If you feel any pain, stop, assess where you're at, don't topple over and fall on your head. But have a towel standing by, a cup of water, and we'll get going. And we'll come into a bent sit position and we'll just sway our knees to the right. I'm going to plant that right hand and reach with the left arm. Actively reaching through the fingers and then I'm going to come back through center, sway the knees over to the left, plant that left hand and reach through with the right. Again, I'm actively reaching. Not just chilling, oh yeah, I'm over here doing this. Give it a little reach and then we'll sway through and reach. Sway through. Good, switching sides, knees over to the right. This time as I reach, I'm gonna bring awareness to my ribs and I'm gonna tuck them in. Think of wringing out the stomach this time. And swaying back through center. Again, bringing attention to my ribs, tucking and wringing out. Good, let's. This time, right from here, my knees over to the right or your left. I'm gonna plant that same hand from down to the forearm and let my legs go long. You know, just grab the top leg, come into a quad stretch. I'm going to come down all the way to my side. And now I'm going to bring up the awareness and intention to my shoulder. So I'm using my foot now. I'll roll over so you can see. Like dancer pose, I'm going to kick in to stretch the shoulder. Shoulders rolling back and down and kicking in. Release, come back to that side bent sit, forearm, hand, windshield wiper. Coming down to the forearm, to the arm, legs go long, top leg to top arm. And I'm going to kick into the hand to open up the shoulder. Good, releasing, coming up, forearm, hand, switch, and coming back down to that side. This time, as I grab the foot, instead of going palm down, I'm going to go palm up and grab the inside arch of the foot. So again, more like dancer. So instead of here, going in, this helps open my shoulder up. So when I kick in, I can... Feel it and focus the stretch into my shoulder by positioning my foot and then opening across the chest. One more breath. And we'll release. Coming back up. Press to the hand. Sway the knees. Coming down. Forearm. Arm. Again, instead of grabbing palm down, going palm up, grabbing the arch, finding stability, kicking into the hand, thinking and feeling into the shoulder, using the foot to find that stretch.
Good and release. Knees bend, peeling up, and swaying through. Good. This time as we sway through, we'll add that crab position and we'll lift up. So as I sway, both hands down, lift, and down. So over to the side, back to center, over to the side. And switching. So I'm going to try to sit upright when I come into my side bent sit. As I roll through, I'm going to maybe start to lift sooner. Come down and sit up. Lift. Switch. Good. When we come back to the center this time, and I lift up, I'm going to just shift front to back. Hips towards my hands, hips towards my heels. Again, if this is too much, put your hips down. Focus on rolling your shoulders back and down and press into the floor. And then when you move your hips, slide forward. Same thing, I'm going to roll my shoulders back and down and get a little stretch. Let's do three of these and then we'll come back to that lifted version. So I'm going to scoop, roll back and down, press through the floor. Scoop, rolling the chest wide, shoulders press through the floor, and sit. And one more back, rolling shoulders back. And one more scoop forward. Back and down. Now we'll add that lift again and we'll sway. Traveling front to back. We'll land with our hips towards our heels and sway my knees to the left. Right hand's going to come all the way around and we'll step up outside the foot, outside the hand with the foot. And returning back to that side bent sit. Knees sway to the other direction, to my right. Left foot steps up outside my left hand. And return. Leg comes back. Find my side bent sit. Swaying to the opposite side. As I reach, I step. One more each direction. Swaying through, plant, and step. And back. And foot. Good. And back to front. Coming to our bent sit. Coming to our bent sit. What we'll do now is we're going to use our tripod transition to get to our hands and knees, building the pieces that we'll put together a little bit later. So instead of swaying both the knees to the side, I'm just going to open up one, that same side hand plants, and this knee is going to retract through my legs. And then my hands and knees. I'm going to open the pathway the same way I got here, and now this knee slides through, traveling underneath, back to my inverted foot hand position. Opposite side. Just one knee falls. That knee's going to retract and down. So one of the keys is having the balls of your feet engaged. So as I open the path, I'm pivoting on the ball of my foot. Knee points towards the ceiling, sliding through, balls of the feet. So let's just work that a few times, alternating sides. One knee opens and retract. Slide through, one knee, retract, slide through, hand, one knee, retract, slide, opposite side, knee to the side, pull it back, send it forward. 
So we can play with this relatively quick as well. So we're just going to dip through and back. So it won't fully come to our hands and knees. I'm going to plant same side knee. I'm going left knee. I'm going to dip and back. Opposite side, dip and back. So when my left knee is down, my right foot is doing all the work. When my right knee is down, my left foot is basically doing all the work with the hand. use our rocking to come up into our inverted foot hand or crab position and we'll lift. So chin tucks, round spine, I can hold behind my thighs, rock, lift. Two more. One more. Good. This time as we rock up, I'm going to have my right knee fall to the side, right hand, and we'll turn over, transitioning to our hands and knees. So as I rock, crab, knee, and back. We'll do that same side three times. So I'm coming up. Right knee falls to the side, right hand plants, like I was reaching, sliding through, and back one more. Rock, open, retract. Opposite side, let's do this again for the opposite. Rock up, left knee this time, left hand, retract, and back. Left knee, left hand. Again, the key is the hip is pulling back. You're not stepping over. You're retracting the hip underneath you. And one more for fun. Boom. 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 Good. Add a foot hand touch here at the top of this. So when we come up, I'm going to rock opposite hand to opposite foot. For now we'll just building blocks. We're going to go hips down. So I'm not going to lift as I rock up left hand to right foot. So I come down, up, hand to foot, turn, and back. Rock up, and a foot, and back. And, hand a foot, and back. One more. Boom, boom, and back. Opposite side, left hand comes down, left foot goes up, right hand to the foot, and underneath. Boom. Right hand, left foot, retract the hip, and back. Boom, boom, boom. Good. If you're having trouble with that, you can go hand to knee, or hand to knee. It's just a way to Kind of play tag and bring awareness and challenge your balance. Chat to tap opposite hand, opposite foot. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take it up a level. First, we'll lift up when we rock up. We won't do a tap yet, and we'll turn and turn back. What does that mean? So before we kept our hips down, 
This time when I rock up, I'm going to lift to turn. And as I come back, I'm going to alternate sides. So I'm up, turn. So just taking out that little moment before I turn, because I know what's happening, I lift the hips, turn, and I know I'm going down. So it's just a little boop at the top of the rock. Let's do two each side, just to get the feel for that, and increase what we're doing. So let's go here. Going left knee underneath and back. Right hand, right knee underneath and back. The other thing to think about is keeping your hips low. From here, I'm staying to the ground. One more each side. Good. Now we'll add that toe touch, but we're gonna have our hips elevated. So it'll be a touch slower than what we just did, but a little bit more challenging for balance, and that makes it fun. As soon as we rock up, opposite hand, opposite foot, with a lift. Up, elevated hips, and back. Let's add a touch at the end. So rocking, hips up, hips stay up, and back. So drive, back, inverted, hand to foot, tabletop, hand to foot, back, and rock. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. This round, instead of pausing at each step of the way, Let's try to flow through. So what does that mean in terms of what's changing? This time, instead of rocking up, planting both feet in both hands, and then lifting, I know I'm gonna go right hand to right foot. So on the way up, I'm gonna lift right to it. And plant, plant, and that hand will stay up. So opposite. Turn, boom, and back. You may have found yourself doing that in the previous iteration. No big deal. This time, we're going to do it on purpose, with intention, and we're going to try to make it smooth. As we do more, and when you get tired, it might go out the window. But who cares? We're having fun, and we're moving. So, coming right to that lift. Only one hand down at a time until you turn over. Bend sit, coming into my rock. I'm going left hand to right foot, boom. Turn, boom. Switching, right hand down, boom. Press, turn, press, rock. Press and lift, turn, and back. Let's kick it up a notch. Let's do this. When we rock up and we turn, let's try not to touch the extended hand. 
I'm going to go hand to foot, turn, I'm going to keep foot and hand elevated the whole time. So now when we rock up, we're committing to one foot and one hand, the other side will not touch. You can if you have to, feel free, but play with it, let's see what happens. Same activity as I rock back, I'm going right foot, left hand, up, not touching. Back and down. Left foot, right hand, not touching. Touch and back. One, turn, back. I'm trying to keep my hips low. Lift hips low and down. What I'm saying with hips low is I'm not trying to do down dog here and come back. I'm not trying to do this. I'm engaging my core, turning over and turning back. Utilizing my muscles to maintain Control. Oops. One more each side. Bop. Bop. And coming up. To our cross sit position, crisscross, applesauce. Right now, I have my right foot in front. Whatever you found yourself naturally is what we'll do. I'm gonna stagger my feet so my right foot is in front of the left. I'm gonna press down and roll to my knees. So again, I'm not crossed and stacked here for yet. One foot in front of the other, driving the shoulders forward, press down to lift up. Let's do 10, call that two. If you're like, no way, this ain't happening, hands down and try to rock in. If it just means doing this, that's fine, that's three, four, five, I've never been good at counting, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. He'll stay up, he'll plant the hands, and we're going to windshield wiper the feet out and switch the cross and come back. So this time my left foot's in front. I'll do the same thing. Again, if this might be all it is. This might be all it is. Or you can drive up for two. Let's give you three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hands down. Release the feet. We'll tuck the toes and we'll press back to a downward facing dog. And we'll pedal out our feet. Stretching the calves. Come up to the tippy toes, both knees can come down. Then we'll come up to kneeling first. Traditionally, I'm going to step up 
I'll do mirroring now. So I'm going to step up my left foot outside my left hand. I'm going to windshield wiper my bottom leg. And I'm going to repeat going back, tabletop, right foot, windshield wiper, the left leg. Left foot, right foot windshield wipers. So from the side, hands and knees, right foot steps up, left foot windshield wiper. And then we replace, boom. Left foot, right foot windshield wipers. And we'll pick up the pace here, and we'll switch back and forth. So, right foot, boom. Left foot, boom. One, two. Bop, 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 bop. So I'm windshield wipering as I step. Windshield wiper as I step. And if I lean into the tips of my knees, it allows me to pivot more easily. If you're wearing shorts and you're on carpet, you're going to be burning out your knees. So feel free to go one, two, and just shimmy shimmy. Or not do as many. Good. Let's get... A little more athletic with this. I'm going to shift the weight into the hands. So coming up to kind of lift my feet and heel, lift my feet and knees to spin. So does that mean as I shift, I'm going to hop, hop. So if you're familiar with crane, which I can't do, or crow, I'm kind of coming into a little crow as I float through. So elevated, elevated. Let's do five. So there and back. One, two, three, four. drop down to our backs and we'll just do some rotational rocking we're gonna go one lap around and then we'll rock up to a figure four and then we'll rock around and do opposite figure four so what's that mean nice round back I'm gonna stay low this time as I rock a little bit, hips and shoulders, hips and shoulders. And I've made one lap, rock up, figure four. My left knee is down, my right knee is up, rocking back. I'm going to stay low and turn like a turret. One lap around, right knee down, left knee up. Let's go again, opposite direction. Left knee, right knee up, and back. Right knee down, left knee up. Good, opposite side. Let's go one more each way, because that's always a pleasure. Working our obliques. Working our abs. And last one. Good. Now let's go just front to back rock. We'll come back, figure four, figure four. And let's do that two times each side. So rocking back, left knee down, right knee up. Right knee down, left knee up. One. Switching, two, and 
and I'm having so much fun. Let's just keep going. One, last one. And pause. Good. And we'll rock up to our cross sit, crisscross applesauce as I rock back. Pull and up. I'm going to switch that cross. Pull and up. One more each. One and two. So this time staying upright, we're going to come to our bent sit and we're going to switch side bent sit, trying to stay upright. So for now, I'm going to sway my knees to my right and I'm going to tuck to my left. And I'm going to balance like boat pose and tuck to my right, knees to the left. So here it is, non mirrored, coming onto my boat and tuck. If you're like, I can't boat, bend sit and tuck, legs out in front, legs to the side. If you want, cheek to cheek and tuck and tuck. Let's go four more. One, two, three, and four. Good. Coming down to our side like we did when we started. We're going to do that quad stretch. I'm going to melt to my forearm, to my side body, legs are going to go long, top hand finds top foot, and I'm going to kick into the hand, and then I'm going to point the knee parallel to the bottom leg, and I'll open up that shoulder. Let's do two here, so I'm going to release a little bit. And then kick into it. Good. Now staying here, going palm up, thumb pointing away, that dancer grip. And why not? Let's get let's get a little silly here. I'm gonna roll to my belly. And we'll kick into the hand. I'm trying to make my chest. Parallel to the floor. For this one, I'm not trying to roll up. I want to roll down. Kicking into the hand to stretch the shoulder. I like to tuck the chin to lift through the chest. And if I lift the chin, I'm just folding in the neck. So I want to tuck and lift. We're off. And we'll kick into it one more time. And we'll release. Going back to that side bent sit, pressing my way up, swinging through, and we'll come down opposite side, forearm, side body, legs long, first palm down. If this is too difficult, you can't find your foot, you can't reach your foot, you can use a strap, a belt, and then I'm just bringing awareness to my knee. See, it's pointing up. I'm going to point it down. Again, for today I'm thinking about the shoulder. I want to roll the shoulder back and down. I'm going to turn it off a little bit, release the pressure, and then kick into it. Turning it off. Again, I'm going to go palm up, grabbing the arch. And just like last time, I'm going to go belly down, bring my foot to hand, 
and I'm going to kick in. Trying not to open up to that side, I want to turn towards the floor as I kick. I'm using my leg to stretch my arm, stretch my shoulder, and again, my preference, if I look up, I'm just stretching my neck. I want to lift through my torso, so I'm going to tuck my chin and lift there. And we'll take the pressure out of it and kick into it once more. Good, and we'll release. Coming back. I'm going to press up through tabletop and find a child's pose. I'm going to go knees wide, tops of the feet together, toes to the floor, whatever feels good. And then we'll float down. And while we're here, why not? We're going to take that left arm out to the side. I'm going to come up for a twist, reaching for the ceiling, and then thread the needle, sliding it through left ear to the mat. Turn towards the floor to stretch the back of the shoulder. Almost like I'm trying to drag the arm out. But I'm going to pin it with my chest. And I'm going to look through my armpit. And try to drag it out. And then release up for that twist towards the ceiling. Swim it forward. Right arm out to the side. Up towards the ceiling for a twist. Thread it through. Right ear to the mat, right shoulder across. First looking under the armpit, and then I'm going to turn my chest towards the floor. And then turning it up by looking through the armpit, and then turning my chest towards the floor. Releasing it for a twist, swimming it forward, and peeling my way up to sit. And shield wiping my feet to the front. And we'll just shake it out. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale like a flat back here. And leave my right hand at my feet. And the left arm's going to reach back for a twist. Again, I'm going to try not to flare my ribs up. I'm going to think of wringing out the stomach as I come back for that twist. Switching back to the front. Reaching back with the right hand this time. Again, tucking the bottom ribs in, wringing out the stomach. And one more each side, switching. If you don't reach your feet, you can hold your shin. I'm going to pull the shoulders back and down. Come back to front and switch. And back to the front. Inhaling up. Exhale. Empty the belly. Folding forward. Let's do three. So inhale, sitting up nice and tall. As I exhale, belly releases the air, folding forward. Inhaling, inflating up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up. And coming up all the way to seat. That is time. Thank you guys for joining us, and I hope to see you next week. Always take care and be safe.